Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to find the arc length when you're given the radian measure of an angle. Okay, so um, arc length, what it is, is if we have a circle, and again I apologize for my hand-drawn circles, okay, when we're, we're asked to find the arc length, it's it's as if you had um, like a tailor's tape that they use to um, a bendable piece of tape. And if I wanted to know the actual distance from here to here, if I were to able to bend my ruler or my bendable tape measure, um, it's the actual distance from here to here. And that is connected to your angle measure. Okay, um, so if this is my angle theta, what we use is our radius, and we find the actual arc length. The way that we do that is the arc length, which is abbreviated S. I know that seems weird, but it's a, one abbreviation for distance. S is R times theta. R is the radius of your circle, and theta is your angle in radians. It cannot be in degrees, okay? So if you're given a degree, an angle measure in degrees, you have to change it to radian measure to use this formula, okay? So again, um, arc length is equal to the radius times the angle of the intercepted arc, okay? Um, so this example here for, says, what is the length of an arc cut off by a central angle of 0.3 radians? So what they're saying is we have an angle in the center of the circle here that's measure 0.3, and when that angle comes out, it cuts a wedge out of this circle, not a full wedge, but this arc here, and we want to know what that length would be. Well, we just use our simple formula. <laughs> arc length is equal to the radius. Do we know the radius of our circle? Uh, we do. Its radius is 18. So we take the radius of 18 centimeters times the radian measure of our angle, which they gave us in radians, was 0.3, and we just multiply those. Okay, so we take 18 times 0.3, or 3 tenths, and we get 5.4, and that would be in centimeters. It's a distance along the edge of the circle. Okay, so just to make sure you read these. They're really not too bad, but you want to make sure you read in case there's anything tricky in them. So this next one says, what's the length of an arc cut off by a central angle of 2 pi? Well, they wrote out pi because apparently, but that's the same as 2 and the symbol for pi radians in a circle of radius 8 inches. Okay, so what did we need? They want to know what is the length of the arc. And our formula says the length of the arc is the radius of the circle times your angle in radian measure. Do we have what we need? Do we know the radius? We do. The radius is 8 inches, so my radius is 8. Do we know our angle measure in radians? We do. It's 2 pi radians, or if you're thinking you're like, uh, that's a full circle. It is. So I, what we're actually finding is the circumference of the circle on this one. Um, so we just go ahead and multiply. 8 times 2 gives me 16 pi, and I'm just going to leave it in exact measurements there rather than multiply the pi. 16 pi inches would be the arc length. All right, what is the length of an arc cut off by a central angle of 150 degrees? The radius is 5 meters. So again, we're asked for arc length. So I say, oh, awesome. I have a formula for arc length. It's the radius times theta, my angle. Do I have everything I need? Well, I know the radius is 5. They told me that. I have a central angle of 153 oh, degrees. That's a problem, because remember, for our formula, our angle needs to be in radian measure. It's not a big problem. We know how to convert from degrees to radians, right? We take it and we multiply by pi over 180. So we did in the first lesson. So when we do that, we get 153 pi over 180. If I go ahead and divide that to make it look a little better, 153 divided by 180 is 0.85 pi. Okay, so the measure of my angle in radians is 0.85 pi. Now I can find my arc length. I take the radius of 5 times 
my angle measure in radians, 5 times 0.85 gives me 4.25 pi. And again, it's, it's eh, unless they ask you to round, it's best to leave it with the pi. If you needed to, you could go ahead and multiply by pi and finish that out. But the less rounding a lot of times, the better off you are. So our answer is 4.25 pi meters. We converted our angle to radian measure rather than degree and multiplied by our radius.